In today's video, I want to show you how to cut cauliflower into steaks so when you cook them, they are all cooked evenly. At the end, I'm also going to share with you a great tip on what to do with the cauliflower pieces so nothing goes to waste. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Laura, I also known as the internet mom that will teach you how to cook for yourself and your family with simple and fresh recipes. The first thing we want to do to this cauliflower right here is remove the outer leaves. You won't be needing those. If you didn't wash your cauliflower before, now is the time to run it under water and gently give it a wash. With a clean kitchen towel, gently pat it dry, and you're good to go. Now with a large kitchen knife, you're going to slice off the end. You're trying to make a good base for your cauliflower so it sits on your board and it doesn't move while you slice. One tip for you is that if you're noticing that your cauliflower is moving a lot and a little wobbly, take a kitchen towel, place it underneath, and now you can level it out. I found that the easiest way to start is just to slice it in half first. By the way, before I continue, if you're finding this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below. It lets me know that I should continue to make this type of videos on my channel. Next, you'll want to cut each cauliflower half into thick slices, about three-fourths of an inch thick or two centimeters. One thing to remember is to slice them as even as possible so they cook evenly. Depending on the size of your cauliflower head, you might get two to three slices from each half. If you have some end pieces and wonder what do I to do with those, I simply chop them, stick them in a container, and then I can sprinkle them over my salads, throw them in a smoothie, roast them with other veggies, or eat them as a snack. Now below this video, you're gonna find my favorite veggie seasoning and a few other delicious recipes for you, so see you next time. 